Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Yumi channel. Today we have a very important video because LEGO have finally given out a response regarding the uh, CMF series boxes problems that we have all faced. Now of course before we begin the video, I just want to say that if you do enjoy and want to keep up to date with all of the latest LEGO news from me, then make sure to subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. Links will be in the description below. But with that being said everyone, let's get right into it. So essentially, for those of you who are new to the LEGO community or have not been paying attention to all of the news recently, uh, LEGO recently changed the LEGO CMF series packaging. Originally, they used to have foil bags, which was a great thing because you could feel the packets. You could identify the minifigure that you wanted and you could do this without getting any repeats. So let's say LEGO released CMF series and it had 12 minifigures in it. You could easily just buy 12 of the packets and get all 12 minifigures without getting any duplicates because you could easily feel the minifigures. The only way this wouldn't work is if you were just absolutely horrible at feeling these packets. But most people were able to do it. It was definitely a doable thing. It wasn't hard by any means. Um, and it was something that a lot of people enjoyed as well. I mean, I don't know about you, but this sort of made my childhood. I used to love going to the stores and feeling for the minifigures. If I even did that with the Disney 100 years minifigures, I remember when I was at college, I used to just pop to my local Tesco's in my break and just spend the whole hour feeling for those minifigures uh, to get the ones I wanted. And, uh, you know, it was something that I really enjoyed. However, Lego then decided to change the packaging for the CMF series into these blind boxes. And the first one that they did it with is with the Marvel CMF series 2. I think the reason why they did it with the series is because they knew it was going to sell well regardless. The first series did absolutely incredible. So they knew that everybody would just buy the second series as well because it is Marvel, which is one of the biggest franchises to exist. And also all of the minifigures do look really, really good as well. Um, and we also have a lot of really amazing and popular characters that we've never seen before in that series, such as Moon Knight, Mr. Knight, Beast, Storm. Um, the list goes on. However, the problem was, you know, because Lego changed the packaging, it caused a lot of problems, not just for us consumers, but for other stores as well. A lot of stores don't even have these CMF series anymore because the problem was a lot of people just ended up tearing the boxes. So, it, you know, it was not exactly a good move from them. So essentially they have sort of lost out on sales, even though a lot of people have ended up buying the series and they've probably made a big profit. That was a big problem. They've changed the boxes. Uh, a lot of people, you know, they, they don't actually buy them from the Lego store directly anymore. Uh, what a lot of people are doing is just buying them from secondary markets, such as eBay, Britlink, um, Amazon, etc. And essentially, a lot of people are selling those minifigures for really expensive prices. For example, Moon Knight, arguably the most popular minifigure in the series. It costs you £3.50 to get that minifigure. I've seen people selling it for about £10 easily, and they're making sales out of it. Now, recently, there was actually a meeting that took place in Denmark, and this was between some of the LEGO fan media, so some of the LEGO ambassadors, and two of the designers uh, for this series, uh, for the packaging. Now, these designers, it's not their fault as to why we uh, have these blind boxes. These are the people that actually just designed the uh, logos and everything on the blind boxes, um, and all of the art that you see on the blind box. So it isn't their fault. And honestly, after hearing what uh, happened in the interview, I do sort of feel sorry for them. Uh, however, it was a 30 minute interview, apparently. Um, and the Lego family were just asking them constantly why they decided to actually change the um, design of the, um, the blind uh, bags into the blind boxes. Now, of course, the first thing they said was about the environment, because the obvious reason is because it is more environmentally friendly. The blind bags before had a lot of plastic that was used in them. You know, you had the actual blind bag, which is foil. And then inside of that, you also had another plastic bag as well for the actual minifigure to be inside. However, with these blind boxes, they haven't only got rid of the foil. They also got rid of the plastic bag inside of it as well. So the minifigure is no longer in the plastic bag, uh, which I do respect from Lego. Um, I'm glad that they didn't include any plastic for these blind boxes. Um, if they did include a plastic bag inside of the box, it would have kind of taken away from the whole, uh, you know, the whole point of this. So I do definitely get that. However, the other reason why they did it was, of course, because Lego are money greedy. Um, now, essentially what Lego told these designers was they wanted to make a new packaging system for these blind boxes or for these uh, CMA series minifigures uh, where they would be um, environmentally friendly and you could also not feel for the minifigures that you wanted because what lego essentially wanted was they wanted more profit 
from these minifigures so they wanted it to be a complete surprise so you essentially don't know what minifigure you were getting which of course they successfully did with these blind boxes however that's just led to people just ripping them open in stores and stuff so it's not really that great um however these designers of course had to sort of act on that um and of course they came up with these blind boxes now there was something that they did mention in this interview which is very interesting and that was uh someone asked them if they would actually change the packaging because uh, the, the the main thing a lot of fans really loved with the cmf series was that you could feel them and obviously you don't get that experience anymore um obviously it is because of environmental issues but it's also because lego is just money greedy um and it was asked if there could perhaps be a compromise between them um and they did actually talk about paper bags um one of the lego family asked why can't you just use tape, pa uh, paper bags because if you don't know in europe we do have the lego magazines and they actually all use paper bags uh to put the minifigures in so for example the, the latest star wars magazine that comes with a c3p minifigure and a gonk droid and they're in a plastic uh, or a paper bag now the reason why uh, they can't use the paper bags is because of the following they did actually try use paper bags. Uh, apparently they made some concept art and they actually made a few physical copies um, for the paper bags. However, the thing was after five fields, they got absolutely destroyed. Now, I know that they use the paper bags for the magazines. However, the thing that you gotta remember is with the magazines, you know what minifigure you're going to be getting. It literally says on the magazine, this magazine comes with C-3PO and a gunk droid. It even shows the exact picture of the minifigures as well. Uh, so, you know, with that, you, you're not going to feel them because you know that you're going to get those two characters. So you just pick the magazine up and buy it and then you open it when you get home. However, with the Simmer series, you can't determine what minifigure you're getting. So you have to feel them. And if you're feeling the paper bag, it's just going to get absolutely destroyed. So I do understand Lego's, um, you know, um, explanation on that behalf. Um, and also, you know, they're just going to get completely creased and everything as well. Uh, so I, I do get why they didn't make the paper bags. I know a lot of people did sort of mention that they could have just done that. Uh, and Lego, you know, they're just being money greedy, which is kind of true. However, they couldn't have made it into paper bags. That, that is just not possible. Because with the blind boxes being destroyed, the paper bags would have also been destroyed as well. So, you know, it's not exactly a win-win situation there. Um, and then... Another fan did actually ask if they would change the blind boxes anytime soon. And this is what they said. And this is really interesting. So they said, um, no, at the moment, they can't. Now, the blind boxes have been rumored for absolutely ages. It's been about three or four years, I believe, since we heard about Lego changing the um, blind bags to blind boxes. Um, and it's finally come into action now. At the end of 2023, Lego finally changed them. So we are not going to be seeing a change in these blind ba uh, boxes anytime soon because it's taken them so long uh, to manufacture all these boxes. However, this is what they said. They said that the minimum amount of time they can leave these blind boxes for until they can change the design again is three to four waves. So the, ne the whole of next year, we probably will not see a change in these blind boxes because let me put this into context. Every year, we roughly see about three cmf series we usually get the non-licensed one which is like series 24 the next one i think is series 25 that usually comes out at the start of the year and then you get a uh, uh you get two licensed ones uh, one usually comes out may june and then the other one comes out usually september time so for example this year in 2023 we saw series 24 at the start of the year and then we also saw the disney 100 year series which came out like may i think and then we also saw the marvel cmf series 2 which came out in september and don't forget, all of these CMF series have a three-month lifespan. So, for example, the Marvel CMF series 2, that will be retiring by the end of December. Um, so, it will be at least a year. And this is the very minimum as well. So, LEGO might not even change it. Uh, I will say that they could perhaps change it. Maybe in 2025, they could give us a little bit of a compromise. I'm honestly not sure what they would do. Um, because... Lego want to keep it a mystery, you know, they don't want to just tie you what many figures inside. I think that would just be a lot better. Maybe have like a QR code or something that just tells you what figures inside of it. Because Lego know that a lot of fans are unhappy with it. They've heard all the feedback and everything. Whether they respond to it or not, uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, essentially the news that we have is pretty bad. Uh, we won't be seeing any change into these boxes anytime soon. However, Lego do know that we do not like these blind boxes. So hopefully they do decide to act on that soon. But there we go, everyone. With that being said, this is the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, then why not subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications. 
as well as follow me on instagram and join my discord server links will be in the description below let me know down in the comments below what you think about all of this um and also have you got the full series of marvel Cinema series 2 thanks to these bloody boxes that lego have introduced i have not actually got the full series yet i'm still missing my storm minifig i'll probably have to buy that off ebay or something or another secondary market like britling or amazon uh but i'll do you guys soon so peace out see you later and bye bye